If your DaVinci Resolve project keeps crashing at 58% like mine did, maybe one of these solutions will help you recover your project without losing hours of work. Okay, solution one, check for backup projects. Open the project manager in DaVinci Resolve, right click on the problematic project, select project backups from the menu, look through available backup versions and select the most recent one. Try opening the backup version to see if it loads successfully. This will only work if you have project backups enabled in preferences user under project save and load. If not, move on to the next solution. Solution two, duplicate the project on a different drive. Go to project manager, right click your project and select export project. Then save the duplicate on a different drive or location. Then try opening the duplicated project from the new location. To do that, in the project manager window, select import and then find your project and then select open. Choose a unique project name or just copy of my project. You can select OK. So the duplicate will be saved in the project library and then you can try and open that. This has worked for some users, so it's worth a try. Solution 3. Disable third party plugins. Go into DaVinci Resolve under Preferences. Here you can disable any third party video and audio plugins that might cause the project to be corrupt. And then go back to your, your original project and try opening it again. If that doesn't work, go to solution number four is to bypass the grades. To bypass all the grades and the fusion effects, open a new blank project in DaVinci Resolve. Click the bypass all grades button, that magic star icon thingy. This can sometimes help it load without the effects that may be causing the crashes. If it still didn't work, go to solution number five, open in the deliver page. So open a new project, go to the deliver page. With the deliver page still open, go back to the project manager window and then select the corrupted project and try opening it that way. By opening the deliver page first, you may force it to load in that page instead of the page where it crashed previously. Sometimes this works, it still didn't work for me, so moving on. Solution number six, use DB browser for SQLite. If everything else still did not work, you can try this one. Download an OpenDB browser for SQLite. If you don't already have it, the link's in the description. In the DB browser, go to Open Database and find your exact project file. To find the exact location of your project file, go to the DaVinci Resolve Project Manager tab. In the Project Library section, click on the Details icon and select Open File Location. Then open the Resolve Projects folder under Users, Guest, projects then select and open the project folder now copy that file path in the search tab to the db browser for sqlite search tab select the project db file then click open click on the browse data tab and select sm underscore project in the table drop down list now find the current timeline index tab and change it to a different number for instance six then click on close database db browser will ask to save it click on save and then close db browser then go back to the davinci resolve and open your project again the solution may help you to open the project but some users still experience crashes when accessing the timeline like i did the solution for the timelines you can go to solution number seven is use backup timelines if you can get into the project but the timeline crashes try right clicking on the timeline select restore timeline backup and try opening a backed up timeline so this only works if you have timeline backups enabled but in my case davinci resolve still crashed when i tried to restore a backup timeline so it still didn't work for me the final solution was to create a new timeline so right click on the corrupt timeline and select create new timeline using selected clips this opens the files in a new timeline using compound clips now you can just decompose them to the original clips by selecting the opening timeline option this has seriously saved me from losing hours of work recently i hope these solutions will help you if you've ever stuck in a similar situation and seriously enable project backups if you haven't already thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one